So my wife texted me wanting to know if we're going to have any frizzle today. That's her term for freezing drizzle. Unfortunately, honey, and everyone else, uh, there's always that potential, but what we're looking at could be significantly more than drizzle or frizzle, depending on how you look at it. We're talking about freezing rain, we're talking about sleet, and we're talking about the potential for heavy snow, and all of it gets going later on today. It's not happening this morning. It's later today into this evening. This is what it looks like downtown. We have recovered from that little skiff of snow that went through this morning. This is our Center College live weather bug camera. They've got moisture ongoing, obviously down south. Uh, looks like it's uh, slightly iced over from earlier this morning. This is out in Letcher County. Notice the fog hanging in way out in the eastern Kentucky. Visibility is way down out there and temperatures are cold enough. Uh, that you could have some of that freezing drizzle uh, or possibly even some icy road conditions out there where uh, some of that contacts the roadway. Temperatures are in the 30s in the mountains, though, but look at visibility all the way out in Pikeville. You're down to zip zero for visibility. So what's coming over the next 24 hours? A significant winter storm that won't really gear up until later on today. So for everybody on social media that's asking where the snow is, the snow is not expected until later on today. This is just a brief little shot across the bow to get your attention. Uh, if you will. Uh, we've got some occasional snow showers still persisting out there and bits of mixed precipitation, but the extent of this storm runs all the way from New England states to South Texas. I mean, there are kids in Texas and Louisiana right now playing in the snow, and there are parents that are wishing it wasn't anywhere near them because it's Louisiana and Texas. But uh, we have a winter storm warning in effect, and that warning runs literally from Texas to Maine. That is a very long running uh, warning. But this is my biggest area of concern, this ice storm warning for some of our counties that are slightly southeast of Lexington. Snow is a pain, and yes, it can be dangerous, especially when you get heavy snow. But icing is a whole nother animal. And of course, we just went through this last week, and it was only you know a quarter of an inch, three tenths of an inch on the top end until you got back to around E-Town where they had some half an inch reports. This looks like it could be in the quarter of an inch to about three quarters of an inch range. And when you get into that half inch to three quarters of an inch amount of icing, that is where you get significant tree damage, power lines down. We had some sporadic power outages last week. This one could have more of an impact. And notice where it's centered in that uh, line uh, across southeastern counties, roughly from around Jamestown, maybe southeast of Campbellsville there, going across I-65. It'll be sufficiently warm enough into our southeastern mountain counties that'll limit your ice accumulation. A lot of it could be cold rain initially, and you'll see a little bit of ice and snow on the back end. But where it's cold enough out west, it is all snow, and that's where you could be talking the big numbers around Louisville, our western fringe of counties. Shelbyville going down through E-Town, where they're looking anywhere between about four to eight inches or more of snow, and that does include Cincinnati. We are in that troublesome zone where you transition between straight up freezing rain over to snow, and you get the mixed precipitation, you get sleet, and then you get snow on the back end. So we could pick up a number of inches of snow here, but that would be on top of the sleet that would undercut the overall bigger snowfall totals. So we've got all that going on. And with that said, you want to be extra cautious uh, because travel later on this evening and especially overnight could become, to, well, dangerous and to the point where some roads may not even be passable. So we'll have to watch out for that. This is the European computer model. It shows the snowfall output. Uh, just look at the general band. You can see it pretty much mirroring where that winter storm warning is from Maine to southwest. Notice the heaviest snow right along the Ohio River. There's concern for later on next uh, this week that we'll have round two firing up. And look at this, yet another band of accumulating snow on top of the snow we already have and almost in the same location. So we may have another storm rolling in with heavy snow potential later in the week. We're talking roughly the Wednesday, Thursday time frame. And on top of everything else, if you're clear cut, Claire Crotch talking about it. It's cold. It's 19 degrees. We have a single digit wind chill. This is the extent of the Arctic air out west. It does intrude on Kentucky, although the core of it is out west. And if you look at the future track, this below normal regime that we're under now, well, next week we're showing some signs that there may just be a break in the overall pattern, a little bit of a warm up ahead. This looks warm. We're talking about getting up to and around our average high, which is in the mid 40s. So we may see some mid to upper 40s for highs next week, which, hey, I'll take it. At this point, with as cold as it is and as cold as it's going to be this week, look at what we're doing. 20s today, 20s tomorrow, 20s Wednesday, lows in the teens and single digits, frigid stuff. So on top of uh, the active weather, the multiple rounds of winter weather, the impactful winter weather that we'll see this evening and overnight, and then again Wednesday night, Thursday for some, uh, we've got this wicked cold to deal with. Even into the weekend when we warm up, we'll get up to around freezing, possibly slightly above it, mid to upper 30s by the end of the eighth day.